Hi, my name is Lindsay O'Brien. I am a senior here at Stevens Point, and I own Authentic Grace Company, which is a reselling company online on Instagram, and I have a website. But after college, I plan on turning it into a woman's boutique and a coffee shop, a brick and mortar. I started reselling clothes online because during COVID I had nothing else to do. It kind of just turned into like a business without me kind of planning it actually. Um, and so now that's what I do while I'm at college. That's like my full-time job is I just go thrifting and I resell clothes that I find at the thrift store to other college students and whoever else follows me on social media. I do everything through Instagram and I have a website, but all my communication is through Instagram. And like for girls that come to point, um, like I text them through the DMs and we kind of get to know each other obviously as much as possible through an Instagram DM. Um, but then they usually come to my house or I meet them in class or something. Um, and I've definitely built a lot of relationships just through selling clothes to them. Like some of my best friends are, were originally one of my first customers. I've created this little community with these girls that I go to school with that I don't really know, but like somehow we're all like together, which is really fun. As a college student, obviously we don't have much money to spend on clothes and everything else. And I know coming into college that fashion was always such a big thing for me. I always wanted to look cute and dress up and like not just wear a sweatshirt and sweatpants every day. I know a lot of girls are trying to go thrifting and reuse things and just be more eco-friendly. And so that is like a big need that the whole thrifting community like covers and helps. During the school year is my like it's my full-time job I say. I don't track my hours because I know it would be well over 40 hours and I just <laughs> don't want to see that number. Um, but during the summertime I do pop-up shops so I like buy a bunch of stuff, price everything and then I have local girls and I've had girls come from all over the state to come shop my stuff which is really cool and so that's a great way to meet them too in person is they come and shop my clothes. But um, during the days, I just try, I go to classes and then I come home and I try and take a few pictures of clothes and just post them and let the girls know and I usually get a couple orders a day, it kind of depends on the week obviously, but I'll ship them out or meet girls later that week and I just try and keep things rolling. Fond du Lac doesn't have many, like a good downtown to go shopping at, you have the TJ Maxx and Target, but there's no good like boutique downtown to get a bunch of stuff um, and there's no boutique and coffee shop in one anywhere. So that's something that I am really excited for is to do a clothing store and a coffee shop in one building and do like half and half and just serve two clients that way too. Growing up, I knew I wanted to own my own business of some sort. And I'm like, it has to have a meaningful name, obviously, like that's my business. And my middle name is Grace, and I wanted it to be something with my name or my family's name. So that's where Grace came from. And growing up, my mom was always like, be yourself, be authentic. Cause I always wore the funky clothes to school. Like I was not one to fit in. I was the one who stood out of the crowd because of what I was wearing or how I was dressed. And so growing up, it was always like, be you, be authentic, be yourself. And I was like, authentic grace, like fun. It fits together and it describes who I am as a person and what my business will be.